For over 40 years, there's only one place that can claim the careers of today's biggest comedians. What started as a small French-speaking festival in the early 80s is now comedy's biggest event, averaging over 2 million attendees. This is where the top comedians, industry, and fans unite. I'm talking about Just for Laughs in Montreal. Oh. But what makes this festival so special? This is the mecca for everything comedy. There isn't anybody from around the world in comedy that hasn't performed here, that hasn't uh, produced something here, or hasn't been seen and, and discovered here. Just for Laughs New Faces has propelled more comedian careers than anywhere else on the planet. But they have bigger plans than just American comedians. We've added a couple years ago, Canada new faces. This year we've added international new faces to make sure, true to our DNA, we launch Canadians, but we also launch the world. We're not just an American star comedy festival. We're an international comedy festival. There are a lot of famous comics that got their break at Just for Laughs, but it doesn't get much bigger than Kevin Hart. So what makes Just for Laughs such a big deal? I'm, I mean, for me, it's been a big deal because it's had a lot to do with the projection of my career. We literally started together. Yes, yes we were this is true. In, yeah, we were in the Montreal Just for Laughs festival in New Faces, which yes. is a category they have at this big festival. Clap your hands, sir. Stop being racist. Clap your hands. Jeez. Before JFL, Kevin Hart was a hustling comic just trying to make ends meet. After JFL, he left with a $275,000 holding deal with NBC. This overnight transformation is perfectly highlighted in his book. The chapter before JFL is the greatest pilot that no one's seen. During JFL, how I became an international superstar in Canada. And after JFL, oh my God, I'm rich. But Kev is not an outlier at finding fame and just for laughs. Dave Chappelle is another comedy titan that credits JFL for his success. Just for laughs was probably the single biggest break in my career. I'm very grateful to, to them because they set me on a trajectory to be better than a good comedian. Dave's first time performing at JFL was in 1993 and the president of the festival, Bruce Hills, remembers it like it was yesterday. There's no question, when you watch a VHS at 11 o'clock at night on a Tuesday of Dave Chappelle doing three separate sets in his teens from three shitty TV shows and three amazing different sets that were provocative or hilarious, were super intelligent. His point of, his performance was superb. I just called the phone number on the VHS to a guy I didn't know and just said, I'm taking, I'm, I never book someone on the spot. It was so obvious. I was just so curious to understand who this kid was. He was just so, so incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, I love Montreal. I do, man. Yeah, man, I was hanging out in the black community today. Both of those guys are great. I don't know how many of you have ever been to the Just For Last Festival, but you guys have a national treasure here. You sincerely do. Jerry Seinfeld performed at the festival in 1989, and that same year, his TV show was released. Jimmy Fallon performed in 1995, got a development deal, SNL, and then The Tonight Show. But in recent years, comedians are catching their breaks more online than at these in-person festivals. And you best believe JFL has noticed. They are making a big push into the social media game, so much so they have a new owner. It's JFL alum Howie Mandel, and he has some big plans. There's so many platforms that are available to us, like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and Twitch, where we can be a little more interactive and hashtag JFL, and those things could just explode so that for the people that aren't here in the moment, they go, oh my God, this is what's trending. This is what's happening. Where is that? How can I interact? How can I be part of it? Back in 1988, JFL did a live broadcast on HBO that helped them get a lot of new fans. And they're hoping to do the same now, but online with new digital content, sketch shows, and live podcasts. Which, you gotta get hot breath in there. Well, the best comic to learn social media from is Andrew Schultz, which is why I made this video to give you all his secrets. Enjoy. Oh, I was gonna have confetti. This is gonna be great. How we look, man. How we, how we look, man. You know. You 